hadith 40 suspicion iyakum wadhan fa inna wadhanna akdabul hadith muttafaqun alayhi an abi huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu beware of suspicion because suspicion is the biggest lie bukhari muslim commentary allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains to us in the holy quran that we should not have suspicion against others all you who believe refrain from excessive suspicion assuming evil things about people without verification ya ayyul ladina amanu tanibu kathiran min adhan inna ba'da adhan ithm wa la tajassus wa la yaghtab ba'dukum ba'da ayuhibbu ahadukum an ya'kula lahma akhi maytan fa karihtum wattaqullah inna allah tawwabur rahim our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has always advised us to have good thoughts about our muslim brothers and sisters he has prohibited hate jealousy enmity and malice towards muslim and non muslims the islam teaches us subhanallah a beautiful thing that to have good thoughts you don't need no evidence mashallah this brother is a good person how do you know what's the evidence i don't need it the muslim brother but if he says he's an evil person where's the evidence for it you have to establish your evidence look at the beautiful thing always having good thoughts zannu bil mu'minin khaira that have good thoughts about a muslim brother today we have the evil thoughts i saw him going i saw him near the pub he saw him near the pub Even if he went into the pub, he still still not have bad thoughts about him. Look at the beauty of Islam. It teaches us for us not to have thoughts, and for the other person, save yourself from the places of doubts. So, in this hadith, the Holy Islam has removed the spiritual disease by upro- uprooting the initial step, i.e., suspicion. It is suspicion that gradually leads to other major spiritual diseases, such as backbiting, slandering, and jealousy. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala protect us from this. Amen. So, basically, what happens is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is saying, "Ya yu aladin amanu shtanibu kathira min azon." Because first, what happens is you see a person, the doubt comes in your mind, suspicion. From suspicion, you start to search. Well, that's just the suit. You start to search the faults. Hmm, he's going towards this nightclub. Let me follow him. The so suspicion. Now you're fo- searching for faults. Now you saw him going to the nightclub. He might be going to get somebody out from there. Somebody who's indulged and engaged in that evil. Now you start to backbite. Well, I yaked up. So suspicion leads to searching for faults. Searching faults leads you to backbiting. So is saying that eradicate that first thing first don't even have suspicion have good thoughts about everybody so it doesn't lead you to other things so islam teaches you from the day one from the beginning from the bottom that stop the suspicion then that will not lead you to finding faults and that will not lead you to backbiting and slandering so this is an amazing thing that the beautiful thing allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say wala taqrabu zina don't come even close to zina so those things which will lead to zina stop them So this is same thing here as well. So when we so the hadith is finishing on this that we should have always good thoughts about our Muslim. As I said, Subhanallah, this book. If you look at it, if you want to say in a nutshell that this hadith book is telling us, teaching us the etiquettes, the akhlaq, the adabs, the character, good behavior, good conduct.